Dominic Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. And you're fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hello and good day everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean David and I welcome you back to your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball, short, the basketball time machine. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends talking about the great sensation Jerry West. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor, please check out the clip of today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare has thousands of online classes and members in more than 150 countries. You can find the subject you're interested in, unlock more creativity, get inspired to put your new skills to work in an impactful way. My favorites are videos of Elise, who helps marketing brands with videos and who help me reaching new audiences with her classes. She explained perfectly how to reach people with one minute videos through engaging stories. Stories. Now, more and more people are creating their own careers and Skillshare is the perfect way to start yours. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So honestly, you got nothing to lose. So what are you waiting for? Start your creative journey with Skillshare today. Now the first player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is from one of the best point guards of all time, Isaiah Thomas. Let's hear what he has to say about Jerry West. Jerry West once averaged 46 points a game for an entire playoff series. That's still the most ever in NBA history. And yet, that stat alone doesn't even begin to explain what he was as a player. Now, it, you can't measure him by, by points, rebounds. Um, you have to measure his impact on the game, which is really hard to do. But, you know, when we, when we look down here at the floor, it's the logo, it's, it's him. And, and how many people, you know, during the course of our lifetime that we've seen play basketball, but none of them have risen to the level and the stature that Jerry West has, that we look at the logo and we always think of him. Uh, you know, what he did, you know, on the playing floor, the teams that he played with and the people that he played against. Uh, the way he shot the basketball, going right, you know, had the pump fake. But then again, you know, off the floor, off the floor, always very kind, gracious, generous with his time. And the next player's opinion that we're going to take a look at is from Kobe Bryant. Now, we all know that Jerry West was the guy who basically, yeah, got Kobe to Los Angeles. And therefore, they always had a very, very close relationship. So let's hear what Kobe has to say about Jerry West. Jerry West. His pull-up jump shot was absolutely vicious. See, that was just... He was using more of a dynamic pull-up shoot. See that right there? So Oscars was, you know, using his body, but you see Jerry's kind of like me. He's wiry, kind of uses quickness to get guys off. See? Nice, nice little up fake. I use that a lot too. So I'm actually watching the defender a lot and trying to figure out, you know, what is he seeing as an offensive player to make him do what he's doing or why that, why that makes sense in terms of, you know, what is he thinking at that moment and why did that move work? Jerry West, that good, y'all. Young guy, do your homework. Check out Jerry West. What a player. All the way through. Olympics, everything. Jerry West is the real deal. 2022 NBA All-Star Game. Michael Jordan, among those honored at halftime of the great ceremony and earth and fire there. Chucks was part of it, Shaq was part of it. It was great stuff. Just great stuff. Uh, unbelievable. You know, as a basketball fan, I, I was emotionally watching this, man. It was fun to see, man. And Jerry West, completely wrong. Jerry West is not like that. Jerry West is, if he's going to curse you out, he's going to pull you close. And it won't be swear words. It would be like, hey, man, get your butt together. You know, he he's on that. Mm -hmm. He's intense about winning. And without Jerry West, the they don't win. There was only one player nicknamed Mr. Clutch, and Jerry West lived up to it and more. 
he was a lights out shooter, an expert playmaker, and a shutdown defender. The only player from a losing team to win finals MVP, West finally captured a crown with the Lakers in 1972. Everybody in this arena knows where that ball's going when the Lakers get it to Jerry West. Jerry was uh, just extraordinarily quick, about 6'3", uh, excellent jump shooter. Jerry was the type of player that, you know, would embarrass you. He was so quick and fast, I mean, he'd just blow right by you. That's Jerry West. This fella can shoot a little bit. He was the guy I did not want to play because he was so quick. And he could leap and he could get to a spot and all of a sudden he's up. You, you don't even have time to get up to try to block a shot. That's how good he was. First guard would be, it, it, it's tough, you know, because Jerry West was a terrific player, too, you know. And no one delivered more consistently than Mr. Clutch, Jerry West. From the first time he put on a Laker uniform, West showed that he wasn't afraid to take the crucial shot. In fact, he welcomed it. It's almost like an arrogance that you don't think you can fail. And particularly when the game's on the line, it, it seems like it's easier. Two seconds, one second, West throws it up. He makes it. West threw it up and makes it. If you do it once, you like the feeling. And if you like the feeling, you want to do it again. I think Jerry West is one of the all-time greats. There was no player that could stop him in the league. If you played a big player to try and take away the jump shot from him, he'd out quick him and beat him on a drive. If you try to play a quick player on him so you could take away his drive, he'd shoot over the top of that player. Jerry with eight in the timer, shoots a 20-foot four shot and makes it. Jerry West off of the wrong foot, I believe. Ladies. Jerry West, in my opinion, was a fierce competitor. He was a clutch player. He was never afraid to take a key shot. West stops for a 20-foot right-hander. It's good. You know, a lot of times in my career, you know, we'd go over and have a timeout and be a close game or a tie game, and I didn't want to play to be right. Just give, give me the basketball, and let's see what happens. And he could shoot that ball, and he could run that court. Right close by to his offensive prowess was his defensive ability. And to me, Jerry West was the most underrated defensive player uh, in that era. It seemed that every time he was called upon, why he answered the call very well. But the talent obviously has to be there. If Jerry had been just another guard who shot it pretty well or didn't have the moves to free himself or get away from just about any kind of defensive pressure, you know, that wouldn't have worked. And, and you know, man, I can remember when I first came into the league, as you know, I was a a fan of Magic Johnson and also a friend of Magic Johnson's. But the Lakers and Jerry West really opened up their vault. And he was so kind and so gracious to me as a player, you know, teaching us about how to win and how to, you know, be champions. And then when I got out of the NBA and I got my first job with the Toronto Raptors, you know, he became a mentor, you know, taught me how to draft, taught me how to look at players. He and Elgin Baylor, I think I told you this before, my. My first, uh, you know, pre-draft camp in Chicago, uh, he gives me a call up, he gives me a call and he says, okay, this is how you dress <laughs> when you come to, you know, the pre-draft camp. I mean, it was, you know, he's always been a mentor, always been a friend, always has given great advice. And on the floor, he could do all that and more. Led the league in scoring, led the league in assists. Late in his career, when all defensive teams became a thing, yeah. he made those as well. What couldn't he do as a player? He, he could do everything. I mean, like, like you said, defense, offense, um, you know, passing the basketball, and, you know, also was a great teammate. You know, being a basketball historian, I love doing research on certain players, and I'm such a big fan of Jerry West, like, for the past 15 years when, when I started watching his old games and seeing highlights. And obviously, it would have been way cooler if I had the chance to see him playing back in the days, but obviously, I'm too young for that. But watching many of his games, I gotta say, this guy was sensational. And I'm not only talking about his scoring, I think he's a very much underrated defender, and there's a reason why he's also called Mr. Clutch. That guy was a scoring machine and uh, always used to come up big 
take when the game was close. So that guy was sensational. But I also got to say that I love the way he talks, the way that he handles himself. Uh, he's super smart and very wise in things that he says. Uh, a person that I really enjoy listening to. So if you ever get bored, it's always great to hear him talk. Just go on YouTube, check out some of his interviews. Always super entertaining. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.